everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same-day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, my Aries. It's Jamie Zebra 23 I am doing your week of August 17th, 2020 for Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I hope you guys are doing great out there. I hope life is good. So let's see what the energies are for the week. Ooh, you got the Ace of Wands first. Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Okay, what do they need to know this week? Okay, so we got the Eight of Wands, the Page of Wheels, the Four of Wheels. So it looks like you guys will be getting quick communication from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, this is also arrows of love. These are messages of love and romance, messages of interest in love and romance. We do have the Four of Wheels. I do see that someone cannot let you go. Could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo, or somebody greedy, somebody who likes to collect, collect men, collect women, or just collect things, period. They're not letting go. The Hierophant could be a Taurus. Um, this could be um, a married person as well. The Ten of Swords in the reverse. If um, somebody was unfaithful to you guys in the recent past, I feel like they're going to try to do things to prove to you that they've changed. I also feel like Aries, you guys are thinking maybe you need to move forward. Maybe you need to leave this person alone. Maybe they are not what you expect. Maybe they are not what you like. Now that you know more information, maybe they're, that's not it. Maybe they're not what you're looking for. I do see that... Um, I do see that with the Ten of Swords in the reverse, there could also be a surgery that's being canceled. If you guys were trying to um, get some surgery done, plastic surgery done, it could have been postponed or canceled. Um, it's saying that this is a blessing in disguise, so don't look at it like, oh no. Also, if you guys were supposed to get married and now you have to cancel, maybe a venue's not open. Um, it's saying all of this is a blessing in disguise. Whatever was postponed or stopped, this stopped you from having the Ten of Swords. Let's see what else for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Expect to hear from a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, big emphasis, again, on Taurus. And then we got the Six of Cups here. Let's see. What is the Six of Cups? The week of August 17th, 2020. The Chariot. A return of a Cancer, possibly. Uh, a quick return. So if somebody walked out, they're walking back in fast. This, there could also be a Leo involved here. For some of you, you're trading in a vehicle for a new one. It looks like this will be good. We also have the Seven of Wands here. So instead of dealing with a costly repair, some of you are just going to trade your vehicle in or just get a new one. It looks like you guys can upgrade. It's, it's showing here that maybe some of you don't know, but there's, you can upgrade. Okay, let me see what else. Also, if there was an issue, a power struggle with a, with a Cancer or with a, um, with a Leo, it looks like you guys will have the upper hand over this power struggle. Yeah, the Nine of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. You guys have good health. Some of you have been fighting, fighting for your health, fighting for your safety. It looks like you've done a good job. Um, I'm also seeing for you guys there's vengeance. Vengeance, 
very strong, very strong energy of hate and vengefulness. Somebody from the past is seeing that you're doing well and they're very angry. Somebody from the past could be seeing your mom or your sister or yourself doing well and they're they're directing their, their vengeful, angry energy. For some of you, you don't like your parents and you're directing vengeful energy. That's really not good, guys. Um, that's a good way to block your blessings. Um, no matter how horrible your parents are, it's good to turn the other cheek. Doesn't mean you have to say, oh, thank you for being horrible or, oh, thank you for, you know, for trying to wreck my life. Just stay away from them. <laughs> kind of wish them well. <laughs> um... But whatever this thing is, somebody's very upset that somebody's got the Nine of Cups. That they got the Ten of Swords in the reverse and the Nine of Cups with the Page of Swords. Somebody's spying. Somebody's prying. They don't know how you're doing it. You're living like you're living your best life. Um, and things are just getting better and better. I feel like Aries, everything's just better. You know, yeah, we're going through a pandemic. Yeah, things are hard, but things are getting better. Also with the Page of Swords here, there could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius that wants to come back to fix something. They want to, um, they're concerned about the health of a relationship. They feel like it was falling apart, but now they want to fix it. Now let's see what else he is here. Some of you also could be getting served with legal papers this week. What else for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers? What else? The Six of Wheels, Six of Pentacles. Okay, some of you are waiting for your money to come in, waiting for paperwork to come in. The Four of Cups. Some of you got some news, or you will be getting some news that you got denied for unemployment, got denied for a loan. There was a denial, but it's saying that there will be an approval on something else that will be just as good. Okay, let's see what else. The Queen of Swords is here. Okay, Queen of Swords, what else? What else about the Queen of Swords? Four of Cups, the Ace of Cups, Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody's mad that you're doing well. And then the Two of Swords, uh, they're mad that they didn't choose you. Somebody didn't choose you. The high priestess, a, um, a Pisces is mad that they didn't choose you, Aries. Or this could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius angry because they didn't choose you. Like they see your life is so great and their life is so horrible. They see the backlash. I do feel like, um, now let, let, let me talk about something else. I do feel like there is an air sign that will be contacting you this week to say that, that exact thing. To say, hey, you know, ever since I've been away from you, I've missed you, I love you, I want to be with you. Could be a Pisces saying this to you. There's somebody pouring their heart out to you this week. I feel like they're not they're not a very good person, but they are, um, you know, they're kind of hoping that by them saying that they've been suffering, that you'll just say, okay, I'll take you back. I do feel like, you know, for some of you, I feel like whoever this air sign is, they're genuinely sorry. They genuinely want to be with you genuinely same with the Pisces energy but I don't know if they can fully live up to what you want but it's definitely if it was me I, I would kind of talk to them because I think that maybe maybe this person has changed I mean I don't think they've 100% changed I mean I don't think it's an overnight change but I do think it's um it's a change worth noting now let me do a bonus card for you guys for Aries Sun Moon Rising Venus and Cross Watchers for the week of August 17th 2020 of August 17th, 2020, week of August 17th. Okay, you got EAL. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, EAL. God, the pleasure of man's children. Transformation gives cons consolation in adversity. So, there are, there are some things that are changing. You guys are maybe being redirected on your path. Maybe you never thought you'd be in a situation that you're in right now. You're being redirected and you're being given something else, something of equal value or something that is just, it's better for you. You may not think it's better, but it is. It, this is, this is something that is a gift. So, all right, my Aries, have an amazing week of August 17th, 2020. If you guys have ordered a $10 one question, one answer via email only or a um, 
for a same day reading and you've not heard from me within about 45 minutes, feel free to email me to let me know so that I can hurry up and answer your question, hurry up and do your reading. The reading special is still going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com. Keep in mind, reading specials are done in seven to 10 days after purchase. If you don't wanna wait seven to 10 days after purchase of a reading special, you can always order a same day reading, which is done the same day, or you can order a um, regular reading, which is done in 24 to 72 hours. I have a second tarot card channel, Jamie Zebra 23 chat. If you guys want to go over there, like, share, subscribe, and comment. That would be lovely. By the time this video is uploaded, the August 2020 and the mid-month August 2020 X's and O's singles, are they going to call and the, and the, what's our next move should be posted by now. All right, my Aries, jamiezebra23.com to talk about. My name is 23 Sorry to interrupt the reading, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video and it tells you um, where to make a purchase, jamiezebra23.com. It tells you about the same day reading, so you don't have to wait, same day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamiezebra23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds and also the description box says it too. jamiezebra23.com, enjoy the rest of your reading. Hi everyone, it's Jimmy Zebra 23 so I have a fans only account if you guys want to skip over there and um, check it out. It's uh, pretty much for guys, um, it's not that raunchy, but it may be a little bit of fun. Jamie Zebra 23, ta-ta for now.